Mr. Fogelson here, and welcome to the next video. This video is going to be on the art element of value. Now first I'm going to start by opening a new document. If you have that menu, make sure you hit New. If this gray screen comes up, just hit Control N for a new document. And I'm going to go ahead and type in the name of this new document. I'm going to call it Value, Spacebar, My Initials. Make sure you put your initials at this appropriate spot. I'm going to hit OK. So I can make sure when I save it that I have my documents organized and labeled and ready to open if needed. All right, when working with value, we're going to focus on a few tools in Illustrator. The first thing I'm going to focus on is the tool of the gradient tool, and the shortcut is in parentheses. That's right, it's G for gradient. So if I hit G for gradient and I start drawing out lines, you're like, whoa, what's going on? It's not making it gradient. That's because I'm trying to make the digital canvas gradient and it's not a gradient and it's not working. So I'm going to need to make a shape first. I'm going to go ahead and tear it up by tearing off my geometric shape toolbar. Just like I did in the geometric shapes video. I'm going to start by making a rectangle. Now if you notice, the shortcut is M. I'm going to go ahead and drag it out, kind of like this conversation we're having, hit the bottom button on my pen, and release. Now I notice I have a stroke and I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to toggle to my stroke by hitting X, good. And then I'm going to forward slash my stroke, or hit the question mark key, to slash my stroke. Don't have a stroke, man. All right. Now that I have my rectangle, I'm going to go ahead and go to the gradient tool. Gee, good. I'm going to want to use a custom color for my gradient. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click on my fill. And I'm going to go green. I feel a little environmental today. Let's go a little bit of a shade towards the dark side. I hear the dark side has cookies. So I'm going to hit OK, but I don't want to go too far to the dark side. Yikes. Hit OK. And I'm just going to drag this swatch, or fill, to my swatches. And now I have that in my swatch library. I'm going to go to the gradients and hit this down arrow so I can work with my gradients until this comes up. Now if you notice, I click on the default gradient color. And it gives me a nice set of value. I have the light white tints of gray and the dark shades of gray and in between midtones. This is a good range for value. Those of you can recall taking an art class and working with drawing those boxes and making them go from dark to light with the pencil, you're working with value. In Adobe Illustrator, you can use the gradient tool and have some fun and make it easy by using value. I'm going to go ahead and work with the angle. Remember, the down arrow will get me to this menu. I'm going to go ahead and type in 90 and it changes the angle of the gradient. Let's type in 45 so it's on a diagonal. You can also use negatives. Very cool. Maybe I like to go radial, more in a circle. Maybe I want to change the slider so it gets more lighter, or I should say darker because I'm bringing over the black, or lighter, I'm bringing it over there. Now let's use that custom color I brought over from the swatches. Now we have a gradient of that green color. And feel free to blend some colors as well, grabbing this blue from my swatches. But now I want to add another color. So I'm going to duplicate this bucket here. What I need to do is hit Alt, and I'm holding down the Alt key, and then I'm going to click and drag this bucket, and look! duplicated. 
Now I'm going to drag another color to that middle bucket. And wow, really kind of neat. If I decide to change it to linear, linear, it gives me that kind of view. And I've worked with blending of different colors. The bluish indigo, the pinkish magenta, and going green with a t shade of green. Control Shift A, and I've worked with gradients. Now remember, if you're going with lighter colors, that'll help you create a dimension. I'm going to get rid of the screen by dragging it down, and this allows me to show the tints or bringing things to the front versus the shades or darker, which will bring things to the back. This is really good when you're working with forms or trying to draw the eye in for your work to create a variety of principles such as emphasis, contrast, and so forth. Control Shift A. Now remember, when you're working with gradients, or should I say value, be careful because when a client asks, asks you for two or three colors, you're going to have to avoid the gradients. Because if you notice, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in by hitting Control Plus, you're going to have a white, and then you're going to have hundreds of different blends of this pinkish magenta-like color. So this would not qualify for your client's needs. And the reason why clients usually ask for maybe one or two colors is to save costs on printing. Because each time you print out a different color, and we've got hundreds, maybe even thousands here, that's going to cost the client money, especially on t-shirts or poster designs. So be very careful in following the client's needs. Control Shift A. The next tool we're going to learn, I'm going to hit Control A and hit Delete. And we're going to use the element of value. The tool is going to be called the Blend Tool. This one's a lot of fun. But we can also incorporate the art element of value. So hopefully, you've, at this age, you're starting to develop your values. Pun intended. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start by practicing my organic shape. I'm going to go with a solid color. Just drag that swatch over. Or you could double click and change the color range or hue. Let's go blue. Hit OK. You know, Chicago is the original place of the blues. And I'm going to go ahead and draw my organic shape. And now there's no stroke this time. I draw a curve in there just to mix things up a little bit. And remember, enclose that shape. So I'm going to show you again by zooming in. It's important with your organic shape that you go from the last point to your first point, and you have a pen with a circle. Just a little reminder there, Control Shift A, and I have my organic shape. I'm going to hold the Control key and just move it over so I can make sure I have enough space. Control Shift A, and I'm going to go ahead and grab a star. I'm going to make it an eight pointed star. Remember, you can throw it down like an anchor point and change that points to 8. So I want an 8-pointed star. Yeah, it looks large enough, so I'll keep it. And let's make it a gray. Remember, we're not working with stroke right now. Control shift a I'm going to go ahead and go to the Blend tool, which is W. And I'm going to go ahead and click on my organic shape, and then click on my eight-pointed star. Whoa, that's so cool. Kind of looks like a falling star. All right, people, make a wish. OK, that's enough time. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and try different shapes. Now, remember, when you're using the Blend tool, you can try using a variety of different shapes and colors to have some fun. I'm going to go with 
Warm colors at first. Uh, we already used the ellipse. OK, now I'm going to go cool colors next. Hold the Shift key to draw my square. And I'm going to go with the Blend tool. The shortcut for the Blend tool is W. Good job. I'm going to go ahead and click on my ellipse and then my polygon. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a hexagon uh, for that type of polygon. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on my rounded rectangle. Then I'm going to click on my square. Now remember, we're in the Blend tool, so that allows me to do this. And then I'm going to click on my ellipse. So again, just a refresher, I'm going to click on my ellipse, polygon, rounded, rectangle, square, and ellipse, control shift A. And that makes a pretty cool design. Kind of reminds me of those uh, ice creams that when the ice cream truck came by, I think they're called like the missiles or whatever. And OK, now I want ice cream. Anyway, really cool, a lot of fun. The Blend tool is a great way to work with value to blend colors. And if you notice, when you're blending the colors, let's say you had the red and the yellow, you got a nice orange in here. So that's kind of cool how it blends the colors very nicely. Okay. Let's hit delete on that. Last and finally, um, when working with value, the Mesh tool can come and super handy and it's really a lot of fun. The shortcut for the mesh tool is U. And I'm going to go ahead and draw out a nice star here and I'm going to go with a color that I feel like is going to draw some contrast. So I'll go a little bit of a darker shade of green. Hit OK. And remember we're not working with stroke. Control Shift A. And I'm going to hit U for the mesh tool. Okay. And I'm going to go, I deselected it. Make sure you deselect it because if you don't deselect it and you're like, and you're like, uh, well, um, I want to go white. Oh my gosh, my green went away. That's because it was selected and you just told it to go white. Okay. So make sure I hit control Z and you deselect it, control shift A. Then you can go ahead and select that color so that your item that you had selected doesn't turn that color. So that's a big thing that people like to make sure that they don't do. And I'm in, I have a white fill now, and I'm in the mesh tool, and watch. Whoa, that's so cool. You can alter kind of the inside and draw a little bit of dimensionality by just clicking on the star. Now, a lot of people like using this for simpler geometric shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit U. Let's try with the red. And very cool. Okay. Other things that people like to do is do the organic shape. Maybe put a little curve in there. It's kind of like Pac Man. Click on that last anchor point so it doesn't draw any problems. And it's kind of like a fancy S with a nice font. Control Shift A. Then I'm going to go ahead and select the white. And then we're going to hit U for the mesh tool. And there's a nice rhythm I'm getting into. And pretty cool. OK, so I hope you had fun meshing around. Oh, that was so funny. Sorry, I got to take a moment to laugh. All right, moment over. And it was in my head, so don't worry, you didn't hear it. OK, so I have the mesh tool. I meshed around. Um, the gradient tool worked with value. And then also the blend tool. Um, not in that particular order, but value is achieved on all these levels. And I also blended some colors, which was kind of nice. Now, we didn't have a paintbrush to do it, but we had these tools in Adobe Illustrator to, um, to uh, find some value and uh, mesh around. OK? So um, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask your neighbor, see if they can help you out, and then uh, ask me. Um, that's probably usually the best order to go in so that, that way, because there's one of me and there's many of you, it can get resolved faster. Otherwise, um, we'll get that taken care of. You can put your help cup where it needs to be. Thank you.